a licensed New York City tour guide originally from Florida. So I am here to teach you how to stay warm in New York City when the weather gets like this. And because I'm from Florida, I feel especially well equipped to do this. Now the key is layers. So underneath everything that I am wearing, I have on what's known as thermals. These are also known as long underwear. You can get a top, you can get a bottom. They're this really thin material that's especially made to keep in body heat and wick away sweat. So that's the first layer you want to have on, thermals. I like to get mine from a place called Uniqlo. They have a whole heat tech line because I'm from Florida, I like to get the ultra heat tech. And then over my thermals, I put on normal clothes. So today I have on these amazing fleece pants from Athleta. I love them because they are fleece, so they are extra warm and snuggly. And then I have on a turtleneck. This is a very chunky turtleneck made out of a very warm material. The key for your top is really make sure that it's a turtleneck because it will keep your neck nice and warm. Now that we have on our pants and our turtleneck and our thermals, we're going to talk about coats. Now, not all coats are created equal. So this is very important. When you watch the movies, you will often see the characters wearing these really thin, brightly colored pea coats, And those are great for the early fall to springtime. But if you're visiting really between about Thanksgiving through the end of March, you can get weather like this. So you're going to need something heavier to stay warm. So this is my favorite coat. This is indeed a gift. It is Burberry, but don't worry. You can find coats that have all the qualities that make me love this coat for very inexpensive prices. And in fact, I'm going to link some of my favorite coats in the comments below. So make sure you check that out. When you are looking for a coat for New York City in the wintertime, the first thing that you want to make sure is that it is water resistant. That's really important because we get a lot of weather like this. <laughs> when it snows, the snow gets on your coat and it can melt, which can make the coat wet. And if it's not water resistant, that water will seep through the coat, onto your turtleneck, into your thermals, and you will be wet and soggy for the rest of the day, and you do not want that. So make sure that your coat is water resistant. Now, I like these puffer coats that have a fill in them. You can get vegan versions of this. A lot of people like to opt for duck down or goose down just because it is warmer. When you are buying your coat, check to make sure that it has been tested for Arctic temperatures. That way, if we get a day like today, you will still stay nice and toasty warm. Now, I also like my coat to be very long. If it is long, it will cover as much of your body as possible, keeping you nice and warm in the snow. I also like for my coat to have a great hood. I love this hood because it actually goes so far in front of my face. So this way when the snow falls down, it actually blocks my face from the snow. And this one also snaps up so it can get extra warm and I can keep my face warm in the snow. I also like that this one has a belt just because I think it looks nice. So now that we got our coats, we're gonna move on to our hats. 
the most important thing when you are looking for a hat is that it covers your ears. You really want your ears to be covered. Otherwise, your poor ears are going to freeze off. You can also get hats that are lined with fleece. They sell them at really inexpensive prices all over New York City. After you get your hat, you're going to want gloves. <laughs> now, the most important thing with gloves, once again, we are looking for gloves that are water resistant. This way, when you pick up some snow <laughs> to make a snowball and you, well, I'm from Florida. I'm not good at making snowballs, but the gloves stay nice and dry. So you won't have cold, soggy hands for the rest of the day. You can also get gloves that are lined with fleece to make them even warmer. Now that we have gotten our hat and our gloves, we're going to move on to boots. Now boots are so important in New York City. You will easily get in 10,000 steps a day in New York City. And when you're walking through weather like this, <laughs> you're walking through the snow, you need to have a really good pair of boots. Now, what do you need when you are looking for a really good pair of boots? The first thing you need is really great traction. So as you can see, the bottom of these boots have really great traction. That way when I'm walking on the snow and the ice, I'm not going to slip and fall like a comedian slipping on a banana peel. So look for really great traction. Once again, we're also going to look for water resistance because when you're walking through the snow, <laughs> your boots are going to get snow on them and that snow can melt. And if your boots are not water resistant, that snow is going to melt through your boots to your socks and you're gonna have cold, wet, soggy feet for the rest of the day and you do not want that. Now, I really like that these have a harder leather exterior that helps them be water resistant. I also like how tall these boots are. They keep a lot of my leg warm. And once again, when I'm walking through the snow, it's going to keep the snow off of my legs. These boots are also lined. You can get boots that are lined with fur, with shirling, with fleece. They have vegan options. That lined boot is really going to help keep your feet warm. Now these boots, you may have noticed, are Jimmy Choo. I do have a tap water budget. I got these on eBay. <laughs> they were really inexpensive. So that is a pro tip for you if you are looking for boots at a really inexpensive price. But don't worry, there are boots that meet all of these qualifications at every price point. And again, I'm going to link some of my favorites in the comments below. We have our thermals, we have our fleece pants, we have our turtleneck, we have our really wonderful coat, we have our hat, we have our gloves, and we have our boots. So we are now ready to adventure through the city. You can go to the Statue of Liberty, you can walk over the Brooklyn Bridge, and you will stay nice and warm because you are prepared. So I hope that these tips help you stay warm and help you experience the Big Apple.